In this lesson, we're going to finish out the top of the hair. All right, so we need to finish out the back, and then we're going to work into the top. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and grab um, edge mode, and I'm going to select this edge, uh, or this edge right here, I'm, excuse me, and I'm going to hold down and shift and drag that straight down, and I'm going to do that a few times. Then I'm going to take that edge and bring it back toward the middle. If I go to my front view and hit F3, I can make sure that that reaches the middle there. And we'll go to vertex mode and pull that back across to where that is pretty much centered. Now let's grab our scale tool and scale that in the X just to make sure that that is perfectly in line. Okay. And then we'll go to our perspective view. And then I'm going to go to edge mode again. And let's pull this over, and then this over as well. We want to try to get these pretty close uh, to the head. So we'll go ahead and pull this over in the X, or excuse me, in the Y. And then we'll get those set. Okay. Now I'm going to go to ed uh, vertex mode and just pull these individual vertices up in the X, just like so. And it's going to flatten out quite a bit. And that's okay. And then we can do a little bit of reshaping. Uh, to this, and that should look pretty good there. Um, if you need to, you can pull that over in the X a little bit more. Shouldn't have to go too far though. All right, so now uh, I'm also going to take the edges um, on the lower half. So I'm going to deselect these up here, holding down Alt to do that. And let's deselect this one right here. And then I'm going to hold down uh, Shift and drag that out in the Y. So that way we get a little bit of a, a, a cap that's going to cover that. So that way we can't see up in that area. And then I'm going to take this vertex here, push that in the Y. And then uh, hold down Shift. Okay, and pull that in there. All right, so let's hit F3. Let's go to vertex mode and right click and target weld this vertex down to here so that way we get everything connected back together again and then while we're here we also have this edge and this edge now we may not be able to see that it may be covered up but it might be a good measure to just go ahead and bridge it anyway so that way uh, in case there's any changes uh, in the model that will be covered up so looking at that we've got uh, plenty uh, of this ready here so we've got that covered up and that's going into the head and that looks natural now let's go to turbo smooth just kind of see what that looks like there and I'm pretty happy with that so we block this in and oh, let's make sure that we grab the hair and then go to edge mode and I want to show end results so I can see that let me grab this set of edges right there double click on that let me pull those out far enough to where the head isn't just sticking through that. And then also I'm going to double click on this edge and I'm going to pull that up. I just kind of feel like that that is not quite where it needs to be. Pull this up here. And if you get a little bit of uh, cutting through here, you can always grab that vertex, pull that out and this one, and just shape it to what you need there. All right, so I'm happy with that shape. Now we need to block in this area. This should be pretty easy, so if we just go to edge mode, double click, or uh, select both of those edges there and hit bridge, we'll use a single polygon, and then we're going to go to border mode, select that border, and then cap, and then go to vertex mode, and just make the adjustments as needed. So we'll pull this down, and I'm going to take this and pull that out, and actually pull that up a little bit. So let's go to our left view. Let's take that out. Let's take this vertex right here and straighten that up a little bit more. Okay. So looking at this, got a nice uh, little shape going here. There we go. So there we have uh, the back half of the cap here. And if you want, you can go ahead and apply symmetry right now, but we haven't straightened up that center line. Um, let's go ahead and do that while we're here, um, because that's going to help us whenever we start to uh, create the top of the hair. So let's go to vertex mode, 
and I just hit F3 to go to wireframe view and let's grab our scale tool scale that in the X or you can come over and hit make planar in the X direction and actually that's going to be the Z direction excuse me now we'll go to edge mode select that edge and I'm going to apply symmetry and it's going to be in the Z direction but you'll see that it's off and that's because we have that turbo smooth applied to that let's delete that symmetry again and then reapply symmetry go to the Z direction and you'll see it wraps around uh, perfectly there uh, now looking at that let's hit F3 it's just on this side of the center line of the face so let's grab mirror and we're going to grab our move tool and pull that over put that right on that line that should look the same on either side now we can go back show end results we can always see that and then we can also apply a turbo smooth isoline display bump that up to two iterations and there we go so now it goes all the way around and looks great now here's the next part we have to create the top and we've already created the lines that we want in our hair um, so we don't have to worry about that detail anymore now we just need to worry about getting the overall shape across the top of this so let's go to edge mode I'm going to select this edge right here along the top in the center and I'm going to go to my front or left view excuse me I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag this out to these major points in the hair okay and then we're just going to uh, shape this and we're going to bring it all back together right in the middle okay so we have that and it looks pretty good except for this um, outside edge here comes out and I want it to be in so we're going to push that in there round that out again go to vertex mode and I'm just going to pull these back and it, let me hit F3 and let me take this one and pull that back too alright so that looks good I'm happy with that shape so far and now we need to get it to connect to everything again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edge mode select this one edge right here and again if you'll remember if that cage is not allowing you to see exactly uh, where everything is selected you can always change that color right here so let's change this to a green green blue color and it should be fine and then change the selection from yellow to red and that might make things a little bit easier all right let's hold down shift drag that over let's do this in our left view and I'm going to hit F3 let me just pull that up hold down shift and drag that out some more right up to this point now right here this is going to start to come over to the middle let's grab that segment that we first created or first started to pull out and go to our front view okay so we're trying to create this shape here I'm going to take this edge right here and pull that in go to vertex mode pull that back out just a little bit try to create that that shape. Let me pull this one in as well as this one right here. And that should match perfectly right there. Let's take that vertex and this vertex, pull that in. And then I'm going to take this edge, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to create a small little polygon right here, and then hold shift again and drag that out. Now in the left view, I'm going to start pulling this back forward, and that's going to connect right here into the side of our hair again. So in our front view, let's go to vertex mode and let's pull this down. Now just to get things connected, let's just target weld this together. So I'm going to right click target weld from here to here. Let's hit F3 to go to our wireframe and let's target weld this point to that point. So this should all be connected right in here. That looks great. Let's go ahead and add a segment right here. So hit control shift S for the swift loop tool or edit swift loop. Hold down shift left click and there you've got a, uh, a loop in there that you can move those points around and get the exact shape that we're looking for let's pull this down okay and that looks good and let me pull that back in pull the bottom vertex of that in great okay so we're getting this shaped out and now we just need to um, kind of divide this area let me go to edge mode select this edge right here and this edge 
and I'm going to bridge that together. We're going to do, let's say, two, three segments there. Take this edge, pull it up, as well as this one. It's going to create that shape. I've got a hole here that I can deal with, and then I'm going to take um, this edge right here. Let's go from here to here, and let's bridge that with a single polygon. Hit OK. Let me go ahead and turn off Turbo Smooth, so that way you can see exactly where everything's cutting. Uh, with that Turbo Smooth applied, it can be a little hard to see, so I apologize about that. So this is all coming together, okay, looking good, but I need one more segment right here. So let's hit Control Shift S, create one right here in the middle, and then I'm going to hit Control Shift Alt X. That's it. A keyboard shortcut for the extend tool so that's under freeform poly draw extend hold down control alt left click and drag these points and let's just start connecting these together and I'm going to go from here to here here to here and then across now in the left view let's go to vertex mode and let's start to uh, straighten up some of this shape a little bit all right, so that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that so far. And I believe this is going to work for us. All right, great. Okay, so we're just about finished with this top part. We just need to get this last section taken care of. Now, I want to create one segment right down the middle of the hair right here. And the reason that I want to do that is because I need a place for this segment to go. Um, so let's hit Control Shift S and hold down Shift right in the middle of that. And then I'm going to go for, to edge mode. I'm going to select this edge right here. And we're going to bridge with a single segment in the middle. Pull that out. And then Let's see, I'm looking at this. Let's go to vertex mode and let's target weld from here to there. That'll create a triangle. We'll get rid of that momentarily by clicking here to here. And then, let's see here. Let's pull this one back. And let's go Control Shift X, hold down Alt Control and extend that across or just bridge those polygons. I'm going to triangle here and a triangle here. That'll work out perfectly. Let's go ahead and go to border mode, select those two borders and cap on both of those. And then I'm going to go to vertex mode, right click and cut from here in the middle of this triangle out here. And then we'll go from here all the way out to here. Okay. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to push that in, down, and then uh, we'll also do this one as well, we'll push that in just like so. And then in your left view, straighten up your topology, Okay, start to pull that out a little bit more, create that shape that we want for our hair. And I'm really happy with this shape so far. Okay, let me take this and pull that back just a little bit. Same thing with this. And actually, you know what, let me leave that forward. Let me take the bottom vertex, let me pull that out. And let's push that in. Great. And then we'll take these uh, two right here, push that forward in the Y. Okay, that looks great. Let's go to Turbo Smooth, see what that looks like. Uh, nice little shape. The only thing that I don't like is this vertex right here. And let me pull that out. And that's that topology um, issue that we had before. I tell you what, let's do this. Let's take this edge or that loop. Let's turn off Turbo Smooth. Control Backspace. And then I'm going to right click and target weld this point to here and then this point to here okay so that's going to square that off into quads 
and I don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, target weld. There we go. Nice, uh, soft looking hair. Good turning. Uh, now we can come in and just shape it up to exactly what we want to fit our reference image. Pull this down some. Okay, just get that to fit. And then the last thing that I need to do for this hair mesh is I need to create the lines that I wanted across the top of the hair. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop the lesson here. We'll create that and we'll actually just finish out the hair in the next lesson. So we'll create the ponytail and everything and then we'll be ready to uh, move on to the final bit where we'll take care of the accessories. And we'll start that next.